Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios, bringing you another episode of How To. Um, before I get on to the episode, I do want to address several points um, before moving on, but if you just want to go ahead and skip ahead to the video, um, I'm going to leave a link right down below, and if you're on a mobile device, the timestamp will be in the description box. Now, I'm making this video to address a lot of the comments and private messages I've been receiving about my statement when I say the Samsung Gear S is not compatible with a non-Samsung device because of that statement, and even I know this, is not 100% true. But there's a, reason, there's a reason why I haven't been saying it, and it is doable. So if you want to go just ignore what I want to have to say and just skip forward, please go ahead and hit that link I provided for you guys. But uh, please hear me out before you do this. If you are a current Gear S user thinking about switching phones, or if you're a person considering buying the Gear S for your f current phone, please, I really wanted you to heed my warning here. It's doable. Um, as you, if you saw my video of on how to unlock your unlock the Gear S as well, set it up as a standalone device. Um, it still has got some basic functions in it, but it's very limited, and. When you pair this device up with a non-Samsung phone, like your iPhone, fancy iPhone 6 Plus, or your Nexus One, or you know your Motorola, doesn't matter which one. It's very limited in what it can do, and I just want to go over. A, so here are the stuff that you still can do on it. You can make phone calls on the watch still, but but that requires you to have a separate data plan on the watch, and that means you got to get a proper SIM card. That, you know, if you got if you got an AT and T or Verizon ride, you'll be fine. But you make sure you gotta make sure to add that add that SIM card into your plan and make sure it's on a data plan piece when you set it up. It needs to be connected to 4G. But once it is and it's connected to your device, like your iPhone, let's say, you can go ahead and make phone calls, and that's it. That's pretty much the extension of it. I mean, the watch itself can still send messages, but the messages will be sent using the watch's phone number. You can still listen to music, but you can only listen to music that's stored in the in the Gear S, the media can, and the, um, you can view pictures, but once again, the pictures need to be in the Gear S as well. You can use your alarm, you can still get weather notifications, uh, you still get use of the S Health, and you still get access to maps, which is using the Here for Gear, which is from Samsung. But those are proprietary to the Gear S, and that's it. So what do you get from the iPhone or the non-Samsung Android device? Well, you get no media controls. The media controller on the Gear S, which is capable of using the media controller on the Samsung, is not compatible with anything else. It won't play, it won't control your media. You'll receive no notifications, which I think right there should just be it. Right there, you should just stop because you won't receive anything except phone calls. So essentially, the main purpose of the watch can't be used. So Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever, nothing's gonna pop up for it because it's just it doesn't because the gear manager on a Samsung device is what maintains the app notifications for you. You don't get that. What else don't you get? You can't maintain contacts. Your contacts from your iPhone or your your non-Samsung Android device won't transfer over. They're just gonna be stuck there. Your calendar won't get updated. Or you, or essentially, your calendar is useless because the calendar works off of the Samsung's calendar. That's what, that's how it gives you notifications. Um, S Voice won't work because no, no, no non-Samsung device has S Voice. Um, you, you won't get the Nike running app, which is kind of give or take for me. Um, you can't use Find My Device because they're not truly connected per se. So the Find My Device to make your phone ring won't work. Um, sorry, I wrote it down because there's so much to go over. Um, you won't get your news won't update because it's not going to be connected that way. You won't get access to Milk because Milk is a separate app that you got to download. Now, email won't work either because it needs access to the primary primary device's email in order to work. You can't simultaneously connect your Gear S, let's say, to your iPhone and a Samsung device at the same time. So, for those of you thinking there's a loophole, so you can go ahead and manage your Gear S using your Samsung phone and then quickly connect to your iPhone, no, you won't because once you Factory reset it and set it up, um, and set it up in unlock mode. And you want to switch back over to another device. It's going to force you to factory reset again. So that's inconvenient right there. And there's no loophole to this. Like this is just the way it is. And finally, there's no extra apps. There's no you can't get the Gear App Manager on the iPhone or any other uh, non-Samsung Android device. It's just not available right now. And the main reason is why a lot of these features won't work is, and like I stated in my other video, it's because the watch is running off of Tizen. 
and Tizen is only compatible with Samsung right now. Yes, a lot of you can argue that it's a it's an enclosed environment, but that's just the way it is. It wasn't physically designed to work with any other watches. Folks, all the stuff I just listed right there are pretty much essential to the device. I mean, especially if you're gonna be paying three hundred plus dollars for the Gear S, you would want all those features. But if you're not gonna get them, three hundred dollars not three hundred dollars is not worth it. A fifty dollar knockoff from China actually does more than the $320 Gear S would. So you gotta ask yourself if you really wanna do it. Now for those of you who really wanna just connect it so you can show it off to your friends and family, then go ahead, you can go ahead and watch the rest of this video. But for those of you who are contemplating and just wanna learn about the device, this is not a route that I recommend. I really don't because I personally only recommend stuff when I personally enjoy it. If I don't personally enjoy it, I don't really advocate for the device. That's just me, like I don't get excited about it and here, I'm getting really passionate just because I know a lot of people are, are trying to prove me wrong and say that it doesn't work and it can connect. But why would you want to do that? It's like buying a Ferrari and only having to drive it from only driving it one block a day to school. Yeah, you look cool, but it's completely useless. It's a complete waste of money. I mean, that's probably a horrible metaphor, but really, folks, it's not going to be worth it if you're going to do this. So. If, if, you've, if you agree with me, you can go ahead and just stop watching this video at this point. But if you still want to just learn about how to do it and also how to unlock your, your device, um, go ahead and please watch the rest of this video. Now, for those of you who decided to skip forward to this part of the video or decided to just continue to watch the rest of the video, here's how to set up your Gear S with a non-Samsung device. Now, on the Gear S, scroll up, go to settings. You want to you factory reset your gear. You're going to lose all your data and everything. Now, while the device is resetting, I want to quickly address the people who are getting device for the first time and you're just getting, getting fresh out of the box. You don't need to follow the factory reset and the unlock portion of this video. Um, once I do the initial setup, which you'll see pretty soon, um, that's all you need. You're going to get that right from the, out of the box when you turn it on for the first time. All right, folks, once it's done factory resetting, or if you just opened it out of the box fresh new and you just skip that little intro screen, this is the screen that you're gonna get next. So from here, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and install Samsung Gear, but we're gonna ignore that step for now and just hit next. Now from here, if you haven't already seen my unlock video, here's just the steps again in order to unlock this watch. So in this screen here, tip on, you see the watch icon there? You wanna tap on that about 25 to 35 times until you see like a Bluetooth notification. So we're gonna just go, go ahead and rapidly tap on that until that pops up. There we go. It says press Bluetooth. So you go ahead and press and hold that after that icon comes up for about five seconds. And boom. The watch is set up without a Samsung device and it's completely unlocked at this point. So I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip all the tutorial stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I was just pretty much telling you you need a Samsung device in order to install apps. But here you want to go scroll all the way down to settings again. And you want to go to connections. Bluetooth, and then you want to make visible Gear S. Boom. And then just put that on the side. All right, folks, sorry, but I do not have an iPhone or another Android phone to show you how to connect to Gear S. But essentially, after you make it visible on the Bluetooth on the Bluetooth menu, just simply go into your settings and then Bluetooth and just go ahead and scan for it and the device should appear. And then you can just go ahead and connect them and voila, the, the devices are connected at that point. Now, if you skipped forward to this section of the video, um, I did go over a lot of things of what the, the Gear S will be and will not be able to do, but I'll just quickly list them down below you know, in the video, but you can go ahead and review that. So there you have it, folks. That's how you connect your Gear S to a non-Samsung device. All right, folks, I hope that video did help answer your question there. If you have any additional questions or just want to learn more about the Gear S, please go ahead and hit this little video link over here, which will take you to my video list of all the videos that I created for the Gear S, Q and A's, how to's and reviews, which should help you. But if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and it's either gonna be me or someone from the community will go ahead and help answer your question. But I do make it a, a point of mine to try to answer your question within at least the same day. Also, if you wanna check out my other tech videos that I've done, my mashups, my reviews, please go ahead and hit that video down there, which will take you to actually my very first uh, Samsung Gear R video, but also you'll have a playlist to all my other tech videos. 
And as always, folks, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video to let me know if you liked or disliked this video. And finally, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel and to see some of the other content that I've done. Finally, just want to thank you for watching my video. And if I don't see you next time, thank you for stopping by and just checking out my channel. But if you do plan on coming back and checking some other stuff, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>